Any questions for Coach? Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. What's this day like for you guys? Um, you know, for us, it's a normal day. You know, we, we watch practice from yesterday and, all, and those things, but obviously we're down here to support um, the seniors, the guys that have uh, exhausted their eligibility. It's a big day for our program. Uh, in terms of those guys, it's their, their job interview. What kind of juice does it add to Maryland to have so many pro scouts in your facility today? I mean, it's not surprising. Um, we've got we've got some good players. We've got some guys that I think uh, have the ability to, 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 to play at the next level, at the highest level, um, as they've been able to show on film. But um, to me, it's great to see the, the turnout that we had today for these players because the more people are here, the more opportunities that they have uh, before them. Have you ever seen Jared Bernhardt play football? Uh, I actually went back and watched some of his high school film. You know, a, a year ago, he came and worked out for us. Uh, and we tried to evaluate what position he would uh, be best suited in terms of being able to help us. Uh, obviously, he went away, uh, did a tremendous job leading his team to a national championship. And uh, glad to see him have an opportunity as well on former turf. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm. Every single lawyer at the Jack Litch Law Group was honored by best lawyers in America. In the Jack Litch Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made, other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, Listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. And seeing a guy like Nick Cross perform how he did in the combine and you know have this opportunity, what does that do from a recruiting standpoint for you talking about wanting to kind of keep things in the DMV? You know, I think anytime your players from your program have an opportunity to play at the highest level and you know one of the things that, you know, since I've been affiliated with Maryland 15 seasons, um, we've had players drafted. I mean, as far back as guys like Vernon Davis and Sean Merriman going in the first round to recently having back-to-back -back first round picks in DJ Moore and Darnell Savage. So, um, you know, for us, it just continues to showcase the fact that you can come here, be developed, and then have an opportunity to continue your career at the highest level here at the University of Maryland. You know, Jake is turning heads at the combine. You know, I think the big thing with Chig is obviously the skill set, as a, uh, his receiving ability as a tight end. The tight end position is kind of uh, that one position that creates matchup advantages. And I know at the NFL level, you're seeing more and more of the tight end uh, becoming a major force in, in offensive production. And so he's a guy that has the ability to run routes, uh, obviously showed the speed there at the combine, but he's also shown the ability to be a functional C area blocker, which I think NFL teams would love. Talk a little bit about what Buck did last year. It seems like a lot of Maryland running backs making their way into the league the last few years. Um, looking at Tayon Fleet Davis, uh, you know, he's got a little bit of a road ahead of him to get us done. But what do you think are his chances? I think he has just as good a chance as the other running backs that have come through here, whether it's Javon Lee, Anthony McFarlane, Jake Punk. Um, you know, Tayon is one of those guys that I call a triple threat, uh, a little more of a Swiss Army knife in that. He's a guy that catches the ball really well out of the backfield, was productive as a runner, um, does a great job in pass protection. So I think what you know what he was able to do on the field last year, being kind of our, our number one runner, um, showed that he's able to do the things to be productive as a running back. And today will be a big day for Fleet. I think he'll do well. This may not be an easy answer, but how do you impress the scouts in this type of setting? Is it just, frankly, all numbers based? You know what, I think the biggest way to impress scouts is the, the film. Um, you know, they come here to see the workouts to either validate or to uh, find out kind of the, the information they need to know from a testing standpoint. But I still think the best evaluation is the film.